for Utah's most accurate forecast with Thomas Keyboy, weather rate certified 11 years in a row. Good afternoon, Utah. I hope that you're having a marvelous Monday, and if you're heading up to our resorts, it's a marvelous day for sure. There's a lot of snow to enjoy. Here's the Alta Snow Stake, where it's more or less buried in snow. You absolutely love to see it over the last 48 hours, over three feet of snow. And over the next several days, we're going to add to that total as we're going to be looking at more times of snow, especially up in the high country. But earlier this morning, we woke up to some decent snow even down to our valley floors along the Wasatch Front. This was shared by John Strait during the overnight hours of around four inches of snow, but we saw even more snow past this particular point. And some of those snow totals pretty impressive, especially in Sandy. Over half a foot of snow since 12 o'clock yesterday. So over the last 24 hours, six inches at Spanish Fork in Oakley, 4.8 bountiful, four inches of snow and in Oak City, two inches of snow. So really a lot of along most of the I-15 corridor. We saw decent snow and that made for a treacherous Monday morning drive, especially before sunrise. Things have calmed down, but we're still looking at isolated snow showers in the northern portion of the state. We're still seeing some snow showers in central Utah and over towards the Uinta Basin. It's just hard for the radar to see that far, but we will zoom in to where the radar can see. And we're seeing isolated snow showers in Weber County, Box Elder County, a couple of showers around Cache County, mainly in the high country. And the Wasatch back is still seeing some times of snow showers, even though the winter weather advisory has since come to an end. Here's the view from Ensign Peak and looking down to the Salt Lake Valley where you don't have to worry about any haze, but we still have mostly cloudy skies above. But those conditions have calmed down in a big way. You can see a lot of white, though, from the snow that we picked up overnight and early on this morning. But as we go through today, outside of any wet weather in the northern portion of the state, we're mainly going to be talking about either partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies in southern Utah. It's a completely different story. The view from Red Cliffs Lodge in Moab. I'll actually go ahead and step out of the picture just so you can enjoy this incredible view. It really does not get much better than that. If you're along and south of I-70 outside of the high country, you're really going to be looking at a pretty nice day, all things considered, with a daytime high of around 57 degrees in Moab, 63 degrees in Bluff in the southeastern corner of the state and the lower elevations. We could get in the low 60s today, 55 in St. George, around 40 degrees in Cedar City. But as you travel northward, we're going to hold on to that slight chance for isolated snow showers with the daytime high in the mid, mid to upper 30s along the Wasatch Front. As Logan and the Wasatch back, we'll see daytime highs generally in the upper 20s and low 30s. But if you're going to take your dog for a walk, now you're actually going to have some opportunities to do so after seeing the snow this morning as temperatures will be hanging out in the 30s throughout most of the afternoon before eventually dropping back in the 20s tonight. So Max, this good boy right here, nice and comfortable on the couch, will be ready to go as we go throughout this afternoon. And maybe even an early evening walk wouldn't be a bad idea as well. Just make sure that you're bundled up, even though your dog will probably have an extra pep in their step because it's a little chilly outside. Now let's go ahead and begin the future cast at one o'clock this afternoon. And the future cast showing that in the central and in the northern portion of the state, we're going to hold on to those isolated snow showers. I do think that we get a little bit of a break even along the Wasatch Front into tonight as we hold on to that chance in central Utah and in northeastern Utah. But then as we go into tonight into the overnight hours and tomorrow morning, isolated snow showers once again going to be a possibility in the central and the northern half of the state, generally north of I-70. The best chance will be in the high country. But going from Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday night, we get those calm conditions once again. But of course, as quickly as we get calm conditions, they don't be they they won't be sticking around as our next system will likely be moving in as we go into our Wednesday. We're in the northern two thirds of the state. We're going to be looking at the chance for more wet weather with maybe even a few isolated showers stretching as far south as Cedar City. But in St. George, it looks like we're going to keep dry conditions in place throughout this work week, maybe adding in a slight chance on Saturday as a more potent system will be arriving across the state. But each day over the next seven days will be about two degrees warmer than the last. And we could see daytime highs in the mid to upper 60s by this upcoming weekend down in St. George, thanks to more of a southerly flow than along the Wasatch front. We're going to have that chance of snow through today. A slight chance on our Tuesday, bringing back that chance even more going into our Wednesday as that next system works its way in. Mostly dry on Thursday and as those temperatures warm up Friday into Saturday with that next system arriving, could actually be talking about valley rain and mountain snow with a pretty good chance from the second half of Friday into our Saturday. Brian, Jillian.